love to know what made you transition. Ilifika point gani ukasema mazee acha niokoke? Um it was after there was a spiritual experience nilikuwa nayo that was life changing for me. Um mm -hmm. share with us the experience. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, while I was still in the U.S., I was in the state of Kidogo for about seven years. After that, you know, compared to those those songs, those songs, those songs, those songs, those secular songs. So now, while I was in the U.S., um, you know, I was I was told that I can get a major record deal, but you know, even the big ones that I I passed through the PTA initiation plan. So I'm not going to say that I'm just saying initiation in in our house music. I mean, I want to do music. I'm talented. I'm going to give you a plan of music, but when you have you need backing. Right. So, so, and it was a lady who was telling me. Yeah, so she took me to a place in Kwanafa Kufanya initiation, mainly Kata. Long story short, in Kata. So, Sikujua, you know, when the enemy is Anajaribu Kukuvuta, Kata, Ata give up. So, even after that, Billy Toka US, Nilwudi Kenya, Vizuri. Na niko na taku endelea na kazi ya mziki. Sasa siku jua but the enemy started alianza kufunga mlango zangu. Yaani fighting everything I do. Ku fight biashara yangu, finances zangu, everything ilikuwa na fightiwa yani. Ni kama mlango zote zilikuwa zimefungwa. As in studio, naenda studio, stima zinapotea. Ngo na sidwa e base hizi ni gani? Yeah, I think over and over and over again at my ATM card ili kuliwa. Yani everything, yeah, yani everything I was wondering, eh, this is crazy, yani. Kumbe, you know when you when you refuse ukiwa kwa secular industry, if you refuse the enemy, sasa atakuka frustrate. Ndi ukwe desperate. So because when you're in a desperate position, utafanya mambo desperately. So, um, so a lady now told me, hey, we bambu, one of our kwambali, man. Easy vitu, they're not supposed to be happening to you. Al niambia, ni watu wame kufunga. So, ni kashido, watu wame ni ufunga aji. Eh, ati, watu ufunga watu. Yani, duseme kwa mfano, artist kawa we, one of our kwa shine. Lakini kuna ma haters. Wanaenda kwa wachawi, wana kufunga. Sasa ndiyo mlango zako zimefungwa. Kasa ma, ah! Sanda fanya nini. Na mi, by then, na amini because ah, zile vitu nimepitia, yani ilikuwa, yani six, seven, eight months na pitia the same thing over and over again. It's just like a cycle going around. So, wana kuna shindwa, hizi ni gani? So, aliniambia pigia uja masimu. Anaitua Dr. Jafari. So, nika pigia Dr. Jafari simu. Dr. Jafari haka nialezea kila kitu inandelea kwa maisha angu. Haka nialezea zote. So, kutika sinu, eh, mse, eh, mse, na nijua aje. Eh, so I wondered, how does this guy know me? And by then, me, I didn't know spiritual things. Siku anajua, hizi ni vitu gani. So, niambe, we, fanya hivi, we, kuja Mombasa, anda kuelezea kila kitu. So, me, me, anda Mombasa. Then, he picked me up kwa gari. Kani peleka kwa hotel vizuri ni kwa kavidu zangu. Then we then we proceeded to the to his office. Eh kufika kwa ofisi ofi office ni ni yani karum tu ame ame rent na alafu apo chini kuna vitu ada sijui kueleze hizo. Now now I know hiyo ilikuwa outer flani. But back then yeah siku na eleo hizo ni nini. So ni lika chini akanza ku recite vitu. Easy vitu za kiarabu, kiarabu, arabu, sijui bismillah, sijui nini. So, ali recite, so ali recite hizo vitu. So, mi na sinuwa, ah, so, ni toke ama, what, you know, whatever, anyway, ni mekuja kutoka na hii, so I might as well just go through with this. Let's see what happens. Eh, kuna, kulikuwa na ama kalabash, apo, Kalaba, unajua kalabash, eh? Yes, nice to do. Yani kama chupa flani, zile za zamo. Then, just cans, mikebe, mikebe, hivi, vitu, strange, yani. 
then lisikia sauti inatoka kwa hiyo hiyo kalabash sauti yani live yani sauti yani a, a, someone, a human Vo- voice a voice kabisa kabisa a voice to you. speaking to all of us sote tunasikia all right then what did you do so mainly shangao yani sijai ona kitu kai hiyo mimi sijai kuwa mtu religious ama si kuwa na joy easy these spiritual things i didn't mm. think they were real mm. Eh kumbe this thing is real man. Hiyo sauti inatoka kwa hiyo kalabash. Na hiyo sauti sasa ikampea instructions Dr. Jafari kampea instructions ya vile nafaa kufanya. Mhm. Ati nafaa ku, kuenda kwa duka ni ninunue chupa ya chupa ya zesta, ah, si chupa mkebe ya zesta brand new nisifungue. Aya, ati kutoka hapo ati nifike kwa hotel nioge ni niseme hiyo ati ati haya ma uchawi hiyo uchawi yote watu wameniweka initoke inge kwa hiyo chupa at this point you had not met god so you did not know so you so, thought those were yeah, the solution yeah i thought that was the solution because mm. people have put because you see the what they tell you eh mm. watu wamekuweka uchawi so itabidi ufanye vitu ndio utoe hizo uchawi mm. oh so ufanye uchawi ingine utoe uchawi eh yeah. Na watu wana watu wengi sana wanaunguka kwa hiyo kitu because mm. awajui neno. Awajui neno. Yeah, awajui Mungu. So wana wanaendelea tu na shughuli zao na wana ah sina bahati. <laughs> na teseka. Did you come out of it? Yeah, so How? so now mm. uh and yeah, ni ni no yom chupa hiyo chupa ni oge ni seme haya hizo vitu watu wameniweka zinitoke zi ziingie kwa hiyo chupa. Alafu ati uweke chini ya kitanda then ulale alafu kesho kuja nao so i i nifanya hivyo and then i put it under the bed mm. nika nikajaribu kulala lakini nilikuwa nashindwa kulala man I, i kept on looking under the bed kuona hiyo <laughs> kitu bado iko mm. <laughs> so no but nothing happened kesho yake dr jafari aka come aka ni pick we went back to the uh, to his office aka recite ile incantation tena ako ka sauti kaka kaka kam mm. uh, then akatuambia tu tufungue nifungue hiyo chupa so i hiyo uh, mkopo yeah, so open. i i opened it myself so not just vile zesta iko mm. you open the plastic mm. then you open the tin so ni mean nifungua then the, we spread a uh, newspaper mm-hmm. then i then we emptied the contents oh, yes. on the newspaper eh leona vitu uko ndani niliona vitu zimechanganywa na jam crazy things so one of the things i saw ili kwa kama zile necklaces za catholics those catholic rosary yeah. eh hey, ili kwa hapo ndani ah vitu inaka kama zinaka ka grapes mm. some things look like onions mm-hmm. siju small small like into dogo to dogo to mm-hmm. na alafu alikuwa anasema everything there represents kitu ambayo ilikuwa imefunga maisha yangu. Oh. So ali alichukua ka, uh, kalamu uh, Jafari akachukua kalamu aka, akainua kila kitu na that voice now ilikuwa inaelezea okay hii ilikuwa kumfunga ati asisafiri. Hii ilikuwa kumfunga asipate pesa. Hii ilikuwa kumfunga vitu yani mm. na ni uongo but mm. by then utaona ni ni It's kweli. The truth. Yeah, utaona ni kweli because mm. man unasikia sauti inatoka hivi. Hey, yani these things are crazy. So um ali to ali to pay instructions yo sauti ili to pay instructions akasema mm. na yeye yeah, alikuwa anaongea na Kiswahili nyingine yani sielewi so ni dr Jafari alikuwa na translate because hiyo oh. kitu ilikuwa na bonga na sielewi didi mm. nasema yeah so Jafari ali translate akasema okay amesema hivi twende baharini utachinja ati atachinja Ni story za funny. Atachinja atachinja gamia. Uh-huh. Alafu amwagie damu kwa hizo uchawi easy easy malize. Mm. So mainly sama mi siwezi enda ati baharini usiku mm. ati kuchinja gamia mi sifiki huko. Sama we usijali sisi tutakufanyia well pia. Mm. So me i paid for it na nika nikaenda kuangalia movie eh mimi wakati naangalia movie au alikuwa anafanya hizo vitu he si mimi nianza kusikia nikana lemewa oh. nikaenda ku faint hmm. kumbe ni hizo vitu zimenikujia because now i've opened the door oh. 
Yeah, so those things, once you want to enjoy Ubaya, once you, you participate child, in it, once you participate in it, you've opened the door. It opens a door to your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It opens a door to your life. So now me, I was discovering these things for the first time, one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. So I woke up, I was talking to the theater because I was talking to uh, mutants, uh, X Men. Mm. So only talk about theater, kabisa, and then I start a movie to play. Naskia ni kana nda kufaint. Then I got an idea. Eh, hey, pigia pasi si mu mumbi ni ni mumbi panya. I had a friend who was who happened to be a pastor. Wow. So I just called him. Nika mm. mwelese ya kila kitu. My friend, mazeni me fanya hivi hivi hivi. I kasema. Eh, hey, mazeni me fungo amlango. I can't zakuomba. Then that thing can you answer? After he prayed, while he was praying for me, Yoki, to So. Is that when you gave your life to Christ? At that so that's point? when I began to realize, eh, maze, hii dunia kuna mambo inendelea vitu ambazo atujui. Things we have no idea about. Exactly. Uh, things going on in this world. That's when I began to realize what I know now, that one, number one, mm. life is spiritual. Is that why you started, the, you began this ministry, life is spiritual yeah, ministries? Yes, yes, life is spiritual. Mm. And that everything to now in this physical world, eh, it is controlled by a spiritual world. Mm -hmm. That spiritual world is very real. Is more real than this mm. one. This physical world is temporary. Mm. But that spiritual world is eternal. Na mungu anataka to focus, to, to keep focus on the spiritual world, mm. not on the physical one. Mm. So that's why he says, to be carnally or physically minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because he's telling you, ukielewa ni nini nafanika in this spiritual world, then the physical life becomes easy. Yeah, it mm -hmm. becomes much easier. Mm -hmm. But if you focus here in this physical life, utashindwa kwa nini vitu zinanifanikia hivi? How come sina bahati? How come napata easy dreams? How come mazena shindwa kupata hata a job? Cycles zinaendelea kwa maisha zetu. How come utakuwa na maswali mingi sana kama welewi ni nini nafanika in the spiritual world? Exactly. Yeah. But how does someone tap into the spiritual world? Is there, is there like a formula? Eh... Uh, Lazima, okay, now the How? physical world yeah. is ruled by the spiritual world. Mm. But the spiritual world is ruled by laws. Iso laws, iso masheria zimeindikwa kwa Biblia. So the more unendelea kusoma Biblia, the more you know the laws of God, then you know how the spirit world operates. Amazing. And if you know those laws, then you can use them to your advantage. Yes. It's as yes. simple as that. The mm. word of God. It's mm. not rocket science. Yes. yes. Now, let us talk about music. Mm -hmm. Ukaokoka. Yes. It took you a while before even you released you a song, a gospel mm. song. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why it took you that long? I think I wanted to grow. I wanted to grow in, in, in God, to learn God's word to become strong, mm -hmm. to be more grounded. Because at that time, you can repeat your training. Any minister of the gospel must pass through training. If you don't pass through training, you will be able to do it. So it's better for you. When you talk about secular, you talk about the gospel, and you talk about the gospel, and you talk about the But you say you took time to go and go the training. Yes, yes. Then you released your song, then you can put it in. Then I decided, that's the time now yeah. I, dis I, I, I began going through training. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm learning how to, how to be a, a strong Christian. Because kila mkristo hakuna authority, hakuna mamlaka flani. Lakini uspojua we ni nani in Christ, wezi eleo hizo mamlaka ni gani. So, in life, onzo ukristo si dini flani, it is warfare. Okay, your Christian life is a life of war. Mm. You will be fighting, mm. okay? So, there are enemies. Kuna wachawi, kuna mapepo. I dunia, mapepo zimeja. There's billions of them. And ubaya sasa, there are human beings, ambao wanaitwa wachawi, who work with demons. Na wanazituma, wanazituma kwa watu. So, unezakuatu mali, una mind business yako, 
na suddenly unas, un, unasikia vitu zimeanza ku change suddenly umekuwa mgonjwa suddenly something has happened to you unashindwa hey where did this come from kumbe kuna there's somebody who's jealous of you somewhere kuna mchawi flani mahali amekutumia pepo and then it comes into your life na sasa because you cannot see a demon where una, you just feel the effects but you don't know what is happening mm -hmm. so now me at that time during that training is when the enemy is sending me things yani mm. yani spirit he send you and as a kutumi a spirit ya depression unaweza anza kusikia depressed yani ni kama unaenda kukufa the next minute mm. kumbe that's a spirit it's not it's a deceiver it's, it wants to tell you that your life is useless it wants yeah. to tell you that you are when bure we we una hope we yani we una lolote whatever don't believe that spirit is a it's a spirit imetumwa no, okay right. so it's giving you thoughts in akupatia mafikra hizo si mafikra zako hizo ni mafikra zimetoka kwa hiyo pepo yes. so you need to take authority over that thing and say i bind you you foul demon of depression come out of my life in jesus name shut up we we fukuze if you don't chase it away mm. itafikiria umekubali yeah. kusikiza kusikiza hiyo maneno yake and it will find residence mm -hmm. in you and then dwell there it will dwell there it will and start find a home. Uh -huh, and yeah. find a home on you and that's how people go from yeah. bad to worse yeah. and then that spirit of depression will invite the spirit of suicide asama u tushamvamia kuja 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 sahi then that spirit of suicide comes then that's when you find someone jumping from a bridge no no that so very, very so, true and sad yeah it's very sad mm. so if so, you don't realize mm. how to fight demons e walk it a kwangumu kwako faith but thank god it's a good fight of faith yes. yeah it's a good fight yes they mm. say faith over fear <laughs> mm -hmm. yes now let us talk about your new, your new project mm -hmm. by my paje martha mm -hmm. my paje no kama tu kufanya collab kule nje <laughs> <laughs> how, how did the collab come about in the new song? Um, mm. I think we were introduced through a common friend mm. uh, and I to a team of Still Alive Records and uh, he introduced us because mm. yeah, this would be really nice. And then uh, she's a talented uh, worshipper Indeed. also. Mm. And I think we were approach about is something not people are not expecting. Indeed, the, we were yeah. not expecting yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted a mm. totally different uh, sound and a totally different approach. Si kwa nataka kukuja na fujo. Stacky so. Na kama na kufanya collab na the West Street Gospel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacky so. No, 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 no. I wanted a more mature sound pia okay. ju even me I've matured. Alafu, but bado you know line ziko mistari ziko bado but you know i just wanted it to be more mature i think pia wale wase wale kwa nisikiza hizo siku pia they've matured also na unakaribisha watu nyumbani the prodigal son yes i want to welcome that song that song karibu home is is sent out yes to the prodigal sons and sent out to those who feel hopeless especially in time ya covid man watu wamepoteza kazi watu wamepoteza biashara yani economy imesafa kidogo so people feel as if god are yuko tena but god yuko and he's welcoming you he's welcoming you back home indeed yeah mm. yeah yeah, mm. yeah so should you expect a collab with a kenyan artist should it could we? be yes you should very soon coming very soon there's I, a project kuna ile kojikoni iko jikoni inaiva we are waiting for that Amen. thank you so much bambu for making time to join us yes. and i know you'll be doing the word mm -hmm. so i don't want anyone to touch that remote because mm -hmm. bambu will be sharing a word with us during inspiration vibe yeah so we're going to, going to enjoy you you've not mentioned your social media pages oh, yeah. as well as your youtube channel and how people can support your music mm -hmm. yes at a pa your life life is spiritual ministries Ye also yes mm -hmm. yes yes so our social my social media is uh, uh instagram uh bamboo african bantu mm -hmm. so it's at bamboo b-a-m-b-o-o -O, african bantu so bamboo african bantu a-f-r-i-c-a-n b-a-n-t-u bamboo african bantu mm. and then um took on our website and that website has our books to me and five books with my wife yes, hey, by the I, time. I forgot to mention that one as well mm. to ask yes. about the you are, you are you are also an author 
yes. authored a few books. Yes, yes. I've, we've written five books, mm. um, mainly about my wife's testimony. Mm. So four of them are about her testimony. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Erica, her name, Anaitwa Erica. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Maybe there's Erica. Erica part one, seven years in hell. Mm -hmm. There's Erica part two, 18 years with Lucifer. It's a part of her testimony. Mm -hmm. There's Erica part three, witchcraft and spiritual warfare. And then there's Erica part four, death, hell, and heaven. Because after she uh, she got saved, mm -hmm. she began to testify. Then she went to a crusade, Walipata accident, mm -hmm. and she and they had a terrible accident. She died, but pastors prayed for her and she came back. But during that time, mm -hmm. she left her body. You know, this body is mm -hmm. just a case. It's yeah. just a suit. You come and go to you. One day you yeah. leave it behind. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Hey, that's 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 my body. You know. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's what happened to her, and she explains what she saw. So it's in that book. I think And then I wrote mm. another book called The Truth About Money. Because while I was, uh, while I was you know, when I turned my back on secular music, mm. hey, I started wondering, how do I earn? Okay. Now. Yeah. So God began to give me an education about money. And the things he taught me, I wrote them in that book. Yeah. Okay. Yes.